Happy Monday, Monday, friends. friends. So we're about to watch the last two episodes of It's Okay Not To Be Okay. No, it's okay to not be okay. Oh, we've been saying it wrong this whole time and I still can't get it right. But yeah, we're watching the last (laughs) two episodes with Alan and Alvin, of course. We've been marathoning it with them the last couple of weeks, which is why it's been in our last three videos. Um, But yeah, super excited to finish it. I feel like I'm the odd person out. I like, like the show, but I haven't like loved it. I do love the characters. I love that it focuses on mental health especially love Sang Tae and his character such like a just a strong performance by him I absolutely love Coleman Young um oh just like yeah she's amazing and I love the outfits it's just I don't know I don't know what it is about it that hasn't made me fall in love with it but it is different from any like k-drama we watched yeah definitely different than you know the usual um love triangle and yeah it's very refreshing to see something like this and Again, like what Jen said, it's about mental health, which is such a inner thing, like taboo, still in like most Asian countries. So it's really great to like see that being tackled by by a show like this. So for me, yeah, I I I liked it. Like I like it so far, at least, and I'm expecting like a great uh, ending. Hopefully. Okay, so. Not that I'm an expert in Korean dramas, I've just watched like five <laughs> so far. So, so that makes you an expert, yeah. Um, I just love that it's very different from the ones I've watched so far. It tackles a lot about mental health, which is something I don't see much in Korean dramas. And also, I find like the lead character, which is a woman, is also very strong like personality wise like she's very and i like that and like she's just like a bad bitch you know so yeah i think those are like really the two two things that really make me like want to just watch the show and finish it okay so thus far how i feel about the show honestly i'm really involved i must say um all the characters regardless of who in the show right now have really played a huge part in like getting me involved in like the way the story just consistently flows is very important too like i must say that's another big thing because sometimes we can watch and also too i'm not an expert like alvin said with korean dramas genesis and daryl have literally put me on but um i'm loving them so far honestly and like this one's it's okay to not be okay hands down really highly recommend um i'm kind of excited to see what unravels in the next in like basically the next two episodes that we're gonna watch so also love yes love the fact i'm kind of tying into like what i've been saying love that they really talk about mental health because like that's a really important thing especially during these times it's kind of like what we're seeing now on like internet it's kind of like what but like this kind of gives us a very it's like very eye-opening so i think that's another key thing that has me involved with the show So Tuesday marked one year since Kobe, Gianna, and the seven people that were with them passed away. Toronto also got hit with a ton of snow, so overall it was a pretty sad and bummy day. For lunch, Dee made a very comforting meal, some air fried mackerel with banchan aka Korean side dishes, and then in the evening I made some crispy smashed potatoes. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So tonight we ordered Caribbean food. We ordered a jerk shrimp bowl from Scotty Bonds. I've uh, never had it before. Before I show you what we got, you know, I got this bottle of Ting. So I got my, my Ting, filming my Ting, you know? So this is what we ordered. We have the jerk shrimp, the star of the show. Rice and peas, coleslaw, and corn and mango. Um, and then I think it has like a um, a scotch bonnet cream sauce on top. Oh, okay. But apparently it's not that spicy. Hopefully it isn't because, you know, Daryl's tummy is a little sensitive. You know these me. Days. Yep. Um, but yeah, we're gonna dig in. So excited to try it. So 
I just got the cutest package in the mail and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, my friend and coworker Camille is actually launching her very own shop called Cam's Corner. Um, Camille is actually launching a sticker shop, which is, first of all, I was super surprised. I had no idea that Camille could even draw or illustrate and apparently she's so good at it. Well, clearly she's so good. So the shop will actually be launching this Friday. Um, so I guess by the time this video is live, um, the site will be live. Um, you can find it at camscorner.co and then um, her Instagram is camscorner.co. And again, please feel free to check it out. Literally the most kawaii and cute stickers. I cannot wait to see what else she ends up launching and like creating. So Thursday rolled around and honestly, it was a pretty typical Thursday for us. Um, aside from the fact that my sister was actually launching her brand new single, Invested, at midnight. So we were pretty excited about that. But before that, we decided to make tteokbokki and finally tried the jajangmyeon flavor, which was pretty good actually. Then since we finished It's Okay to Not Be Okay, the new K-drama that we picked to watch with our friends was Hospital Playlist. It was done by the same writer as the Reply series. So far, so good, actually. So right at midnight, we celebrated the launch of my sister's brand new single, Invested, with Alan, Alvin, my brother, and my sister's boyfriend, Andre. Her new song is now streaming on all platforms, so make sure you check it out and show her some love. So on Friday, we needed to do some groceries and also pick up a communado to run errands the following day. For those not familiar with communado, it's actually a car sharing service that we've been using and it's very convenient for people who live downtown. So we hadn't been to Loblaws in quite some time. It is a bit of a walk for us when carrying groceries back. Um, so we finally got to pick up some of our faves, our favorite bread, Milo of course, which is a necessity in this household, and then our favorite oat milk. So Saturday, I decided to make my sister's shortbread recipe, but this time with Milo, it actually turned out pretty well. Then we were off to do some errands, but before that, we did a quick cookie drop off at our friend Jasmine's house. And then we headed to Tala to pick up a mug that we had ordered from them, as well as some Silvanas, which we hadn't tried yet. We'll be taste testing that for you in the next video. Then we headed to Engage Studio, which is in North York, to drop off Jen's ring. We're actually getting it reset. We also couldn't leave North York without stopping by the Big Galleria location and picked up a few things. After that, we did two more cookie drop-offs. We stopped by shows also to return her cake pan and then stopped by my brother's as well. Milo shortbread. Wow. It's so good. It's like not too sweet. Yeah. But you can really taste the Milo as well. Like the powder. 11 out of 10. Hey. Well, my sister made us some veggie empanadas. She actually dropped it off at my brother's place. And then we just came to pick it up. We did a little swap. Shortbread for some empanadas. And for dinner, we picked up some sandals from Imanishi, one of our favorite restaurants in Toronto. Got the ebi fry, which is shrimp, and Jen got the fish katsu. Highly recommend it. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up our vlog for the week. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye friends! friends.